Let's start with oligo-DT primers. Oligo-DT primers consist of a string of T's, or thymines. Therefore, it always binds to the poly A tail on the 3' end. It is at this location where cDNA synthesis begins. Although you can achieve fuller length cDNA using the approach, there are a few things to keep in mind with this priming method. First, oligo-DT can't bind to non-poly A regions, for example, the ends of degraded RNA. In addition, 18S RNA doesn't have a poly A tail, so oligo-DT can't bind, which means cDNA will not be synthesized. Finally, oligo-DT may prime internally to varying degrees where stretches of A's exist, and this might cause cDNA synthesis to fail. However, if you are planning to generate cDNA to validate microarray data, this method would be acceptable as microarray probes are typically designed to bind on the 3' end.